give you a step-by-step -step on how to make Mickey Mouse. So the only materials you will need is crayons for when after we finish drawing our picture, a number two pencil, because it's the best, a marker to outline the Mickey Mouse, and any type of paper that you have at home. This name is gonna draw on an easel, and I have a poster board. You can use construction paper, you can use whatever you have at home, it doesn't matter. It's on your creation. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a big circle for his face. So I'm going to make this all the way around. Just like that. Now, Mickey Mouse has two huge ears. So I'm going to make one huge circle over here. And it's okay to make little mistakes and stuff. That's why we have an eraser. And another circle right here. Okay. So now Mickey Mouse has really huge cheeks. And he has a little arch in his um, face. So we're going to do the arch and also make the two huge um, cheeks for his um, face. Okay? So here we're going to make the arch just like this. All the way around and then stop right here and this is where his cheek is gonna um, begin so after you make the cheek you go start you can um, erase your um, line that you have made for your um, circle okay. just like this see and then we're gonna kind of do the other side just like the other side we did and go all the way around and stop see so now we can erase the inner circle and then we'll have most of his face okay just as simple as that all right so now i'm going to make this a little more like um curved because it's, he has a little chin on this one. So we want him to be able to have a huge smile like in all his pictures. So we're gonna bring this part down like this. And then erase our inner circle. Okay? All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start with making his nose area. So I'm going to put his, the, he has like a little arch thing right here on his face. So we're going to make a, a curvy line right here, then make his nose. Okay, so now he has a nice oval nose and that's what we're going to make right underneath this line. Okay, oh, he's getting there guys, don't it look good? So now we're gonna do his eyes. He has nice large eyes and stuff because he's always happy and, and full of life. So we're gonna just make two ovals for his eyes right above his arch nose area. One and two. He has two little um, eyebrows, so we're going to put eyebrows over here, one right there in that corner, and one right here. So now we're going to make another oval inside this, um, the um, ovals that we already made, so that we can color them in, shade them in black, and he um, can have his beautiful eyes. Here we go. Okay, 
So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a huge smile for him and stuff, and then we'll be able to be done. Okay, so we're gonna start from here because we want his smile to go from here to here. All the way around. Stop. So now we're gonna take the, the start from here, halfway to the like his under part of his mouth. Okay, so now we're gonna put two lines on the side to make to show his dimples and stuff because he has beautiful dimples when he smiles. So right here we're gonna put one right here and one right here. Because his mouth is open, we're gonna put his tongue out. Because you know, every time you see him smile, you see his tongue. So we're gonna put, we're gonna make two humps. We're gonna go like this, we're gonna do one hump like that, and another hump like that. And that is our Mickey Mouse. So uh, when we come back, we're gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna show you that I um, colored him and shaded him in um, with the cut, and I'll let you know what colors that I used to make his his face. Okay. See you back. Okay, guys. Now that we done outlined our um, picture, I'm gonna show you what colors I use to color Mickey Mouse. I'm going to use the color black, red and this little tan color you can also use peach for his face and purple hmm, i wonder what we're going to use purple for so the first thing we want to do is we want to color all the areas that are black his face is actually black so we're going to color his ear the lines that is fine it happens there's no mistakes sometimes there can be a little happy mistakes and we can make them into something good okay that's his ear I'm gonna color his around his face area Don't be afraid to take your time because it's your artwork. There's no rush. Okay, now get his other ear. He has some really big ears. He looks so happy that he's getting some color to him. All right. Oh, see, I went out the lines and stuff, but that's okay. So now I'm gonna color his nose. His nose is um, black as well. I'm gonna actually leave a little shine on the top of his nose, because sometimes he has a really shiny nose in his pictures. So I'm just gonna color it like this. We're leaving just the shine on the top of his nose. It's a pretty shine on top of his nose, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna also color in the background of his mouth, because we can show that he has his mouth open. And his eyeballs. We're gonna color his eyeballs and to leave just a little shine in the top corner. It doesn't matter which corner you choose to that for him to have his shine. I chose my right side. Okay, 
So now we're gonna color the end part of his face. And like I said, I used, I'm using tan, but you can also use peach. That's another good color to use, okay? So you get all of his face. Oh, top of his lip. His huge cheek. going to use the color red to color his tongue. But we'll also use pink. It's okay. But I'm going to choose red. All right. And that's Mickey Mouse face. But now we're going to use the color purple to give him some type of a background. And so cuz we all look all we have is all this white so and we all love color we live in a beautiful colorful world and stuff and we just need to express ourselves with different colors that we choose and you don't have to color the whole background and stuff you could just color the air around the area of him it will still look just as nice I color more on the slant and stuff so that it gives it a nice, you know, um, border around it and making sure that all the colors are going in the same type of direction. Okay, and that is our background, guys. So now, to end our video, one thing that we always have to make sure we do as an artist, we always have to put our signature at the bottom so that all people can know how wonderful our picture is and be proud of what you made. So I'm gonna put by Nia. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope to see some of your work that you have done as well. Have a good one, bye.